Radically rethinking the way we live to pollute less, produce less throwaway items and put the brakes on global warming. The idea behind Europe's Green Deal. Dubbed the bloc's man on the moon moment, it would require huge efforts. We want to be the front runners in climate friendly industries, in clean technologies, in green financing. Back in December 2019, Ursula von der Leyen proposed 50 ways to help Europe find a balance between emitting carbon and absorbing carbon, becoming climate neutral by 2050. A mixed bag of laws and incentives to get EU countries to sign up to green goals. In it, a climate law to reduce emissions by 55% by 2030. A circular economy plan to change the throwaway culture to a reusable culture. A housing renovation programme to reduce energy consumption. And a farm-to-fork strategy with a more sustainable, less chemical-reliant approach to agriculture. 100 billion would be set aside to help poorer regions and sectors make the transition. Well, you just train people, as we have done it for decades and decades and decades, and they will produce new, they will work on new production line, producing electric vehicles. That's it. I mean, if you are a, a, a local SME working in the building sector, and then you are going to have more work to insulate homes or schools, uh, public buildings, university, it means more jobs, more activities. But for countries like Hungary, Poland and the Czech Republic, becoming carbon neutral by 2050 will cost billions. In a bid to catch up with Western living standards, they've often had to sacrifice environmental protections. But for NGOs, environmentalists and the Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, Europe cannot ignore the science and governments should drastically cut emissions now. Your distant targets will mean nothing if high emissions continue like today's business as usual even for just a few more years because that will use up our remaining carbon budget before you will even have the chance to deliver on your 2030 or 2050 goals. But as EU member states muddle through a winter of lockdowns and economic woes, their promises on climate could get watered down along the way. For Euronews... I'm Maeve McMahon in Brussels.